my videos are to facilitate students who get stuck while they are solving exercise of the edmap and this is question number seven of 22.1 its chapter name is kinematic and in this question there are four parts and displacement equation is given which will always give you distance from origin so let's start the question in the first part we have to find the distance of particle from origin when velocity is instantaneously um, zero so now I will put v equals to zero and I will find out the velocity equation by differentiating the displacement equation and after that I will find out the value of t here I have just factorized taking three common out to simplify my equation and then I found out time which is coming t equals to 5 and 1 it means the instantaneously it was at rest at time 1 second and 5 second throughout the journey therefore since I have to find out the distance from origin I am substituting t5 in the displacement equation which is giving me distance from origin and I got 15 meter and then I'm putting t is equals to 1 which is s is equals to 47 meter so I got the two distances when object was at instantaneously at rest <coughs> in part B the question was saying find out the value of t when the acceleration has magnitude of 9 now magnitude 9 mean it may be plus 9 or it may be not minus 9 because magnitude is 9 mean both things so I am differentiating the velocity equation once more to get the acceleration equation and in this equation one time I will substitute a 9 plus 9 to get time and then I will substitute a minus 9 to get the other time so I got the two timings when the acceleration has a magnitude 9 now in part C I have to find out the average speed in two seconds now we already know from part one that when object velocity was instantaneously zero that was t equals to one and five second it means when the journey will start when the motion will start at one second it will take turn so i have to calculate the distance covered between zero second to one second the time when motion starts till it takes turn in a while i will explain you through line also explain how it is moving and then from one second to two second how much distance is covered so i am substituting time zero in the displacement equation and then time one in the displacement equation these are the distances from origin i am getting same i am doing here i am substituting time one and time two seconds in the displacement equation and I got these distances from the uh, distance basically so my total distance is 12 so average speed is 12 meter divided by 2 second now let's see this whole proce process in the form of line how the motion is happening at time t equals to 0 in the displacement equation which was this if you see here in this equation when you put t0 you will know it is 40 it means initially the object was 40 meter from the origin and at time t equals to 1 the distance from origin is 47 meter so altogether in one second the distance covered is 47 minus 40 which is 7 centimeter but we have to find out the distance covered in two seconds so then we will see how much distance covered from time 1 second to 2 second. So when we plugged in t equals to 2, the distance from origin is coming 42 meter. Now this is not the distance the object or the particle has covered. This is the distance the object has covered. So we will do 47 minus 42 because this whole thing is 42 which we have found by substituting t equals to 1. So the distance covered from 1 second to 2 second is 47 minus 42 which is 5 meter. This is how we have calculated here 
the total distance covered in two seconds now let's come to part c uh, d which is saying find out the total distance in six seconds now before six seconds there were two instant when object was taking a turn at time equals to one second and five second so we will find out the distance covered in three intervals from a start till one second from one second till five second from five second till six second so i'm plugging in these timing in the displacement equation and then getting the distances from the origin and then calculating it so i got total 46 meter now let's see this explanation on the straight line at time t equals to 0 sorry at origin and at time t equals to 0 the object was 40 meter away then in t equals to 1 the distance from origin is 50, 47 meter so altogether the distance covered is 7 meter then from 1 second at 1 second it took the turn until 5 second it didn't stop it didn't take a turn again so when I substituted t equals to 5 I got 15 meter which means this distance from the origin the object was this much away from the origin so the actual distance covered was this red line so what is this red line this whole thing is 47 which we have calculated from here and we are minusing 15 from it so I got 32 then after 5 seconds the object is taking a turn again and then it is stopped at 6 second so this much is the distance covered so now when I put t equals to 6 in the displacement equation I got 22 meter and earlier it was 15 meter so this much distance is 22 minus 15 which is 7 so this is how we calculate the distance this is lengthy method this is easy and quick method to calculate the distance so in my next problem I will in my next video I will pick up one more question of kinematic if you want the solution of any particular question please write it in the comment under this video and I will get back to you thank you